Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to talk to you about some things that you need to stop doing before you go to bed to get a great night's quality sleep. I'm going to restrict this to five. There are many other things, but these are five uh, things that I believe are the most important things you should do. And the first one, which might sound like a strange one, is to cut eating out dark chocolate in the evening. And I'm just saying this to you because it's something that I did a lot. I love dark chocolate. I love the, 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 the 70%, even the 90% cocoa, it's beautiful. Um, and it really is lovely. In fact, I've got a piece just here, which I, uh, I have to eat. Mm, oh. mm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Ah, lovely. Actually, the chocolate is lovely, but the problem with chocolate in the evening is it has caffeine in it and it keeps you awake. And I can fast forward this a little bit, start to feel the caffeine effects in me as well. And it's gonna mess with your system. So it's best to reduce chocolate intake in the evenings. I have the odd piece during the afternoon, nothing wrong with that, but really to, to drop it down. Um, there's also studies that, that are out there, it's all very preliminary, that the eating of chocolate actually does increase heart rate and sleeplessness as well. So something to be mindful of is to cut out the chocolate. The second thing is using your smartphone and tablet before you go to bed, either in your bedroom. And the tricky thing with that is that um, the smartphone emits artificial blue light into the retinas and that tells your mind that it is daytime, it's time to stay awake, whereas without that, your body, as it's dark outside in the evenings, is naturally starting to, to release melatonin to put you in that sleepy state. So by looking at these smartphones as devices, Whilst they are very, very handy, they're also very addictive, um, it's a good idea to eliminate usage as much as you can before you go to bed. So consider reading a book, for example, or just, just breathing, just relaxing, um, and yeah, just, just allow the darkness to get into you, uh, the darkness of the light, I should say. That's really not well said, but the, 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 the natural process of it being dark to allow your body and mind to understand it's time to go to bed for enabling you to get a really good sleep. The other thing as well, which you should stop doing, preferably when you get home in the evenings, but definitely close to bed, is checking work email. Whether it's on a smartphone or device, it's, um, yeah, it can be really kind of productive in some ways, and you can lose a lot of focus which is not good at all. Hang on, sorry. Oh, I haven't done that. Oh, um, oh, oh I'm so, what, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm contradicting myself. This is about stop using work emails. See, if I kept going on with that, I start to think, oh, I haven't done that. I need to get that done tomorrow. Or I need to get it done now. Or when am I gonna get it done? Best thing to do is to not allow any of these thoughts to come in as much as you can and just putting it away. Don't check it. Preferably the last hour before you go to sleep is just not to check it as well. Allow yourself to unwind, relax, and put yourself in that state to get a great night's sleep. The fourth thing, so we've covered eating chocolate. No, don't do that. Mm. Oh, you need to stop. No more. Feeling awake. Using a smartphone or tablet. <laughs> Don't do that. An hour before you go to bed. Checking work email. No, don't do that either. Don't do that too. The fourth thing, drinking lots of water. So I go through periods where I feel I've not had enough water during the day. So instead, I'm gonna drink all my water intake in the evening. Not a good idea for many reasons. The primary, primary one is that it will no doubt lead to you needing to go to the bathroom 
in the evening, which will disrupt your sleep. You'll be sleeping so well, and then all of a sudden you've got to wake up because you need to go to the bathroom because you decide to download all that water in one go. Best thing to do is to firstly, spread out water intake as much as you can during the day. You probably find actually you're getting enough water as, as it is if you're eating a balanced diet and lots of fruit and vegetables because there's water intake in that which will keep you hydrated. And the second thing is, is to eliminate as much as you can anything in the system bladder wise before you go out. The lesson is do not leave your phone on loud speaker or not loud speaker but leave your phone out of the room when you're doing a YouTube video. That's not a sensible one. I would Google that in other searches for better tips because clearly I'm not the person to teach you. But with, with the water piece, it's just really important that you empty your bladder out as much as you can. Whether it's going to the toilet one or two times the last hour, maybe three times, is to feel you get everything out of your system, go to sleep, and I almost guarantee you, it's certainly for me, that you will not need to go to the bathroom at any point. So with the water, don't, don't drink it during the evening. So I'm gonna put it down because I'm, it's, looks beautiful, but I, I need to stop because otherwise I'll be going to the bathroom all night. So don't do that. And the final thing what a lot of people do is they feel the need to do some exercise, which is perfectly fine. You've been busy all day and you get home and you haven't done exercise. So you're going to do an intensive workout or you're going to lift some heavy weights, um, cardio, high intensity, even medium intensity. And you want to do that. It's great exercise. I'm not someone who is anti-exercise at all. I think it's extremely important for a really good balanced lifestyle. The challenge is though in the evenings is that once you're done, exercise naturally raises your core body temperature. And in the evenings to get your body in a sleep state to get the best sleep possible, it needs to go through a process of decreasing body temperature. And when when light turns to dark outside, naturally our bodies through our circadian rhythms are aware of that and they start to decrease. And then when we go into the bedroom, our bodies are still further decreasing and then we can get a great night's sleep. Exercise raises it and delays the process. So whilst you might start to feel tired, it will make it a little bit harder to get really good quality deep sleep. So by all means, go for a walk, do some stretches, something like yoga would be great in the evenings. So it's not about not doing anything, but maybe consider anything intense in the evenings in regards to exercise. So there are five things. Eating chocolate in the evening, particularly dark chocolate, stay away. Using a smartphone or tablet during the evenings, particularly close to bedtime, not a great idea. Melatonin tricks your mind, blocks melatonin I should say, tricks your mind to think it's daytime, you're wide and awake. Checking work email just causes just general stress and gets the mind racing again. Drinking lots of water means you're in the bathroom all night and then exercise will raise the body temperature higher, won't allow for the cooling process to happen when you wanna to go to sleep. So there are five things, there are many more. Please feel free to check out the notes below for some further comments, where else you can find me. If there's anything that you want me to talk to you about, please let me know, leave me a comment, send me some info through the other channels you can find me in on the social media. However you want to get a hold of me, please just let me know. And if there's anything that you think, oh, geez, my friend or my mother or my, my cousin, whoever, my, my uh, neighbor's dog walker, or whoever it is, please share them this with them. They might get some benefit out of it. Please also subscribe. You can see a photo of me somewhere along here on a little um, square. Subscribe. You will get up-to-date videos. I'm doing this on a weekly basis. They'll come straight to your inbox. So until then, stay cool, sleep well, and I'll speak to you soon.